All right then, my friends. So we're making some good progress. We have a modal now, which is working. We can add new chapters. And when we create a new chapter, it closes the modal, updates the list down here as well. Now I'd like to move on to when we click on one of these. And I want to work on these things at the bottom, these different actions. Now, currently, we have a button to go back to the full chapter timeline, and that takes us to the chapters page. Well, we don't really need that when we're on this outline page because we want to do everything from this page. So we're going to get rid of that if this was fetched using HTMX because we don't need it. The other two buttons, edit chapter and delete chapter, both redirect us as well. If we click on edit chapter, that takes us to the edit page, which we don't want, right? We want to edit it in line right here in the modal. And if we try to delete a chapter, I'm going to delete a different one down here, then it does still delete the chapter after this confirmation, but then it redirects us back to the chapters page again. We don't want to do that. We just want to delete it right there and then and stay on the page and maybe just get the updated list, okay? So we're going to work on sending a delete request in this lesson when we click on this button right here. And to do that, we're going to have to do some conditional rendering to show different actions or buttons down here, if you like, if this was fetched using HTMX. So then I'm just in the show view for the chapters and this is where we output all the chapter actions at the moment. So we've got the button to go back to the full chapter timeline, the button for editing a chapter and then this form right here for deleting a chapter that sends a delete request. So these are all of the current actions, but we don't really want to show all of these, uh, especially the way they are handled right here for when we use HTMX to request this template, this fragment, right? Instead, what we'd like to do is show maybe a different set of buttons. Now, I guess what we could do is just conditionally output different attributes on these things right here like this, and maybe a different anchor tag down here instead of the form for deleting uh, the chapter. But instead, what I'd like to do is nest all of this inside some kind of if else statement. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, in order to do that, we need to know if this whole fragment was fetched using HTMX. And for that, we can use the flag that we've used for other views. So inside this show function right here, we want to use this is HTMX flag and send it in to the view so we can use it. So let's do that. We'll add a comma after chapter and then add on is HTMX like so. All right, so now back inside the view, we can use that to conditionally render content. So what I'm going to do is a little if check right here. I will say at if, and then inside parentheses, we'll say is HTMX. Then we want to output a bunch of content, right? Now, if that's not the case, we can add on the else clause. So let's do an else down here at else, and we will render all of this. If it's not an HTMX request, and then we need to close that little if check right at the bottom by saying at end if. So now in here, we want to output the other actions. And I'm just going to start with the delete button. So let's do an anchor tag with a class of button. And for the href, we don't really need anything because we're going to be controlling all the functionality using HTMX. Now what we need to do though, is we need to add on all of those different HTMX attributes. Now the first one is going to be HX hyphen delete. And we're gonna set that equal to double curly braces to output something dynamic. We're gonna use the route helper and we wanna send a request to the delete or the destroy action rather. So that is outline dot chapters dot destroy. Because if we take a look at this, it is the destroy action, which actually deletes a chapter, okay? So we're sending a request to that particular route. And we also need to pass in here as a second argument, the chapter itself, which we have access to. Yeah, we have the chapter. Okay, so that's the first attribute. The second one is going to be the HX hyphen target. And this is gonna be the target of whatever response template we send back. Now we're gonna send back an updated chapter list. So we wanna replace the current chapter list with that. And we also need to say HX swap to specify that we want to replace the entire thing. So all of the outer HTML, like so. We also want to add on a confirm, much like we do down here for this delete where we use the form. We say on submit and we return a confirmation to say, do you want to really delete this chapter? Well, we're going to do the same thing using HTMX. And we can do that by saying HX hyphen confirm. This does exactly the same thing 
and we're going to set that equal to the message we want to show and I'll just copy this thing right here so we can paste it in up here all right and that's pretty much it for now all right so now when we view this, hopefully, because we're fetching this on the outline page, uh, page using HTMX, it's only going to show this action and not this one. And therefore, when we click on this button, it's going to send that delete request to delete the chapter. OK, so we're going to try this out now, but I'm going to warn you in advance that it won't work and we're going to get an error instead. But I wanted to show you that error and explain why it doesn't work. So I've already got open the network tab. And I'm going to click on a chapter title now and then I'll click on the delete button inside it and in the network tab when we do that we're going to see the network request turns red which means it's failed and if we click on that request and we go to the preview tab we'll see this 419 error and it says page expired now this error code in Laravel oftentimes means there's been a failure in CSRF token validation and when we try to make a delete or a post or a put request to the Laravel backend without that token, it's going to fail like this. And that's what's happening. When HTMX sends the delete request to the server, it's not sending the CSRF token with it. So it fails and we get back this error. So we need to manually add that token to the HTMX, re uh, HTMX request headers. And we can easily do that using an HTMX attribute called HX headers. Now, if you're completely new, by the way, to CSRF, which stands for Cross-Site Request Forgery, then definitely check out my Beginner's Laravel series because I go into a lot of detail about that in there. For this series, I am assuming you already know the basics of what that is, and we're just going to go about fixing this error. Okay, so when we use HTMX with Laravel, we need to manually add the CSRF token to any HTMX request headers for things like post, delete, or put requests. Now, when those requests are made from standard forms in Blade components, like when we create a new chapter, for example, we can use the CSRF Blade directive to add the token for us. But when we're not using a form, like in the case for the delete request, which is coming from clicking an anchor tag, we can't use that directive. And instead, we need to use an additional HTMX attribute called HX headers. And we can use that to add the CSRF header to the request. So we could add that attribute directly to this anchor tag to do that and supply the token value and that would work. But also what we could do is we could add the attribute to the body tag inside the app.blade.php layout file. And if we do that, it means that any HTML request we make within the body inside the entire application will have that header automatically applied to it. Otherwise, we'd have to do it individually for everyone that we've made like this. So what we're going to do is apply it to the body for now, because I think we'll need it later on as well. So let's say HX hyphen headers, and then we want to set that equal to a string. Now inside here, we supply an object, so curly braces, and then inside the object, a property name in double quotes, which is going to be X hyphen CSRF hyphen token. And then we need a colon after that. For the value, we'll use double quotes again, and then we need this to be the CSRF token provided by Laravel. Now, we can easily access that using a function provided to us called CSRF underscore token. So let's use double curly braces first of all, because we need to use some dynamic code. And then we're going to use that function, CSRF underscore token, and I'm going to invoke it. And this means that now, when we make a delete request from the anchor tag, we're going to be sending the token with the request and Laravel won't reject it. So let's give it a whirl. All right, so we're going to try this now and I'm going to click on one of these titles down here. Now, when we click on delete chapter, it is still going to cause an error at some point, but it will still perform the delete request. The other error is because of the way we're handling the request on the back end at the minute. It's nothing to do with the CSRF token anymore. So let me try deleting this chapter like so, press OK. And we should see that this one right here is now working. It has been deleted. However, we get the error later on right here, OK? So we'll sort that probably in the next lesson. But what I want to show you for now is that if I refresh, we've got six chapters currently. If I refresh, we should have five. So that delete request has actually worked now. 